so I was remembering my life tonight in different aspects. Sort of remembering like the things that I used to do. I've had a pretty chaotic life in many different aspects. I was re remembering like driving. I was remembering the jobs that I had tonight. I can't remember what I remembered first, but in regards to driving, I used to have a chaotic time driving. I used to win cars in raffles. Then I would go drive them and it's like they literally malfunction. I would take them to a garage first, have a mechanic look at it, but then they would find nothing wrong with it and say yes it's okay to take on the road. And then once it's on the road it's like I can't stop the car or there's electricity on the dashboard or it just catches on fire. And one time I remember driving home with a new car. Um, someone else was, was driving and I was sort of the passenger. It was virtually my car but I didn't have my license at the time. And anyway, the whole dashboard lit up in blue electricity. I guess it could have come from the CD player or it could have come from the motor. It came from something, however, and then it, it turned like a, an electric blue, like it, it f sort of glazed the whole entire dashboard all of a sudden. And we were like, oh, what's that? You know, what's this blue? And then, and then pretty soon after it glowed, like, like electric veins crawling over the front of the dashboard, it literally started to light up in fire. Um, the whole dashboard lit up in fire and then the whole car lit up in fire. Um, we parked to the side of the road and got out safely. Um, we got out before it started to really burn, but I think that car ended up exploding or something. So that was one malfunction. You know, and another time, you know, I couldn't stop the car and I braked, I braked again and it ended up barely, it sort of braked in some sort of way, but it touched another driver's car. And then the angry driver whose back bumper was touched and not excessively hit was like, oh, and they came raging to my window. I was virtually on the road to try and I'd just gotten my license and I was going to pick up my plate or something. It was like my registered plate um, to go in the car and it was like virtually like two blocks away. Either that it was another suburb away. Either way I had to drive down the road, uh, uh, drive down a highway a little bit and then turn left. But I bumped into this car on the way and the driver was so furious they came out cursing and swearing and you know, bumping on my window, trying to get me to open it. I think they even had some sort of weapon to threaten me with. I can't remember because I was busy on the phone trying to call the police and say, hey, I've got an inferior driver. And not to, it wasn't my fault that my car bumped into it. In fact, my brakes were, just weren't working. Then the police, then the police ended up showing up and, you know, I had to step out of the car, show my, reg my license or other things. The other driver was raging mad and sort of had to be calmed down by the police, right? And then I was like, oh, I'm sorry, but my car wouldn't stop. That's the only reason why I bumped into this other person's car. They made the mistake to assume that I was pretty rich because I had won a pretty luxury looking car. Um, but I hadn't actually bought it. I had won it, so I wasn't actually very rich. In fact, I had absolutely no money. Um, and so, anyways, um, virtually, you know, the uh, driver of the other car, you know, saw that I had a very nice looking car and they're like, oh, I'll have this car and we'll drop everything, you know. They literally, you know, jumped into my car and started driving off with it and, you know, uh, they got like a few meters away before the whole car lit up in fire. I don't know why it lit up in fire, but it's possible that it sort of just did what it, it had done. 
you know, in the other tile that I had that had lit in fire, maybe it did the dashboard glazed with sparks or something. Either way, it all lit in fire. The bad side to this story is the person who was stealing that car, you know, is a little bit caught and they ended up emerging from that car and they had um, their clothes had caught in fire. I think I had a fire blanket in the back of my car um, that I managed to rescue. Either that or I was carrying it in my bag. Um, I think I had just bought one for the for whatever reason. I don't know why. But I think I had just bought it for the house actually. Um, I don't know really why I had a fire blanket. But I'm pretty sure I had just bought it for some reason. I just happened to have a fire blanket. So I managed to uh, put out the fire on, on the clothes pretty quickly. Um, everyone was like, oh, don't, don't use that fire blanket, it's probably a fake fire blanket. I'm like, no, it's not a fake, I just bought it, you know. I only had it because I bought it recently. And so after, you know, a couple of minutes of people saying, no, don't use it, it's not a real fire blanket. It's like, they used it, and yes, it did put up the fire. Then, of course, the ambulance came, and everything was taken away. My details were collected, I, my license was torn up and I was told to go home, so I had to literally walk back to where I lived. And then, you know, in the following days, I was approached and had the whole situation read out to me, what they should be doing about the situation of the blazing car, whether or not I should be charged um, for the um, burns that the other person had received um, after having had been consumed by flame. Eventually it was agreed that it had the car was malfunctioning and so everything was dropped and uh, I didn't have to either I didn't have to pay anything off or I did and I did just did it I don't know I would like to say that I had no money but maybe I had some money it's possible that I might have had some money but I I'm not really sure. Either way, I'm, I sort of didn't really have any problem after that, but I couldn't drive because I had been banned because of what had happened. They weren't going to give me back my license. They were like, no, no, no car for you. And then they saw I had a bike and they were like, you can, you can drive your bike around, it's okay. And so anyway, that ended that episode of driving around and of course, uh, I didn't think I had insured my car. It's possible I could have insured it, but I'm not sure. If, I didn't think I had insured it, actually. Um, I don't think I got a new car. Or maybe I did, I don't know. Uh, I can't remember the event too closely, but... Um, I did drive afterwards, so it wasn't bad for life. When I was banned from driving, I've had my license torn up a few times. I was banned from driving when I was working in real estate. I had learned to drive to be able to work in real estate and I was driving along the coast pretty efficiently. The only thing is I just couldn't stop, I still couldn't stop the car at times and I was like, when I had problems with the brake, you know, I had to, I had to move without stopping. Leaves were in my tail, I was calling the police saying, hey, my brakes are not working. And the police was like going, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get you through this. And the police that were f following me began to be my escort. Like they were budging people out all the way to be able to escort me towards safety where I wouldn't be in danger of um, hitting other people. So I was guided towards, you know, a highway stretch, right? And it was on the news and everything. <laughs> This was like ages ago. It's like I was virtually on the news for like a whole afternoon at one stage. And anyway, um, I, I ended up like the person on the phone ended up saying, well, try, try breaking this way, try breaking that way and try breaking that way. And the last, the last way they had suggested actually worked to stop the brakes. And then, um, and then the police were like 
you know, pulling me over, taking taking my license, looking at it, asking me details. They asked me what I was doing driving a car. I said it was a work car, working in real estate, right? And then the one of the police officers moved to drive the car because they wanted to test the car. It seemed to be okay for a while, but then it burst into flames. It was like it ended up catching on fire, and the other police officer was like, I think it actually exploded after they had safely parked it, and it exploded when they were standing outside of it, and it was like, big deal um, to have it have it explode. I was like, where did you get this car? I was like, I don't know, it was the organization's car. And it ended up being escorted back to the organization, being told, oh, that car was a dangerous car, it had blown up, um, it had malfunctioned, you know, other things about the car, and they were like, oh, I didn't know, you know, I don't know why it's not safe to drive. And so once again, I was banned from driving. You think that's the only time I would drive, but I got my license many times to short periods of time. I was living in the country at one stage, and then I learned to drive, and when I had a fight, I was living on my own. I ended up escaping to a country residence. I bought a house and land. It was really cheap because it was so country, and I started living there. I stopped riding a bike to and fro. I started driving a car because everyone was complaining, hey, you can't ride a bike everywhere. You know, there's ice, there's snakes, there's fires, you know, there's torn- there's even wild storms, you know, and what are you going to do during these, ride a bike? It's like, no, you have to ride a car. And so, you know, everyone was like urging me to, to drive a car once again. I was like, I was doing okay, but then, you know, I started having problems with the brakes once again. And then I was banned really quick by police from driving anything once again. I've also had brake problems with my brakes um, driving real cars that I've purchased in replacement of cars that I've won. I've also purchased a second-hand dealer and I purchased a car and they've like, it's the safest car to drive, but still I have problems with the brakes. So I think brakes is like my downfall. Like I'm a pretty steady driver and then, you know, it comes to braking. And I'm like, if those brakes would just work, then I could, I could prove that I can actually drive. <laughs> I'm not actually too bad a driver. It's just the braking that seems to malfunction all the time. Um, but I do feel safer in cars that I have bought as opposed to one. But saying that the secondhand car that I bought once is like, they were like, oh, this is sure to, to you know, keep you safe. It's sure to work every time you press that pedal. It's going to work. And it's like, oh, I don't remember what happened to the car, but it sort of malfunctioned some, sometime. I think I think it couldn't stop. And I would press it. And I think the, the brakes had broken or something. There was no, like, no connection with the brake. And however it functioned had broken so when you're pressing it it's not breaking because something's broken but they did ascertain that it was an old style brake something that you could be seen in like 1970s 1980s cars and they were like well the car's a bit too old how about how about we just take this car away from you and you buy a new car i think that car was considered unroadworthy or something because it um they found it too old or something Either way, you know, I didn't drive it for very long and when people realized it was literally like a really bad car, I think it was taken off the road because it was unroadworthy. So, um, and then in another state, you know, I was having trouble with cars and someone said, hey, let me give you a job driving a truck. Um, so that you can practice driving cars for long periods of time until you're used to it. They could see I'm a pretty good driver and they're like, oh, our trucks are state of the art, our trucks are great to drive, our trucks will break all the time. It actually seemed real, but then when I was on a highway, it's like it just wouldn't break once again. So once again, you know, I was in the spotlight, you know, Police were chasing me. I was on my phone saying, hey, I can't break this car. And it, this time it's a truck. Um, I was stopped eventually on a highway or something. 
and I immediately the the truck I think I might have crashed that truck somewhere actually and the um and the police had had you know uh, the business person and police were mingling talking about it and I was like oh it's decided that I lose not just my driving license but my truck license too and not to be working there ever again so I was remembering my short stint of being a truck driver like I was supposed to be like statewide roadside truckie and it was like it just it had potential but it just didn't work out and because I had another brake incident where the, the car just wouldn't break and I was like it was probably a really stupid thing or something but I have actually been a trucky one, so that's something else I remembered. I've actually driven quite a few different cars, but once you stop driving, people forget that you've actually driven anything. Even I would forget. Like, sometimes I like remembering things from over 15, 20 years ago, and I'm like, even I forget that I've driven these things sometimes. I just get so used to not driving, it's like, oh, who cares that you've driven? And then it's like you forget after a while. It's like really weird. One of my favorite cars in the world was crushed and the insurance doesn't cover crushed cars. Unfortunately I was like living in an apartment and the apartment fell down because of a cyclone and with the building falling down it crushed my car. And the funny thing is every other car in the car park was virtually not crushed but I, some beam had fallen down on my car and I was like no. <laughs> Um, and I was like so traumatized because that's like the best car I've ever had. And I was like, oh, it's my favorite car. I'm actually driving it, you know, and I bought it. It's like my bought car and and it, it was a real car too. It wasn't just a one car. I traded in the car that I had one for a real one. I, I think I thought I had two real ones. I think I first had a something that looked like a sports car. But then I was having, yeah, but then I think something happened to that sports car and then it was traded in for a less expensive car which was like more like a little four-wheel drive sort of thing. Of course it wasn't really a four-wheel drive, it was like a four-wheel drive. It was a pretty like, it was like an 85 grand car as opposed to the other car which was like a 180 grand car. Anyway, for some reason they took that car back. Either I had damaged it or these are two different episodes where, you know, I've gotten two different cars from trading in cars that I've won. The thing with cars that you've won, you don't know where they're from, you don't know why they malfunction, but they always do. But the good thing about car places is they like cars and they like, they're like, they like parts and then you can trade your car in for other cars. I think I've also traded in a really expensive charity car for a really base level 15 grand car. Their trade is really unfair, but the car place was anticipating that there was something wrong with your one car, otherwise why on earth would you be trading it? It could have been another dealer actually who would say yes instead of no. Um, usually you do anything you can to trade in your car because that's how you're going to get a more worthy car otherwise it's going to probably blow up on you or something you know uh, set on fire because there's some sort of malfunction in it and you're like going well i won a car how about we trade it in for a new other car I'm, i must have traded in at least two maybe three times i was like but i remember this one that was i was driving it i was almost driving and then you know this cyclone came building fell down and then it crushed this beam in the garage crushed my car and I was like no it's my best car you know it's the best one that I've driven around you know I don't think I've ever had a car after that one actually um I've definitely no I have had cars well I have had yeah no I must have had cars after that but that was one that I'd bought you know not one in a raffle or something and I'm like no, that was that was like my favorite car, but I did I think I did buy a secondhand car afterwards. That was the one with the weird brakes or something. 
really old parts and all that. Oh, so we have to take this off the road because it's so unread, unread worthy and stuff. I think I'd pay like four to six grand for it or something. Maybe it was even two and a half grand. I can't even remember. But I sort of remember thinking it was quite cheap. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but my favorite one was probably the one that was crushed because I just remember thinking, no, that was my car. It's my beautiful car. But they were both beautiful cars, the sports one and this other one that I was driving. They were like, they were almost home. They were almost home. You know, I was sort of still learning how to drive, but they were like, they were like almost there. And I was like, I wish, wish I could remember this. I would take pictures all day now. <laughs> but this is before I started taking pictures and I was like, and now I can't even show off like the cars that I had or what places I lived or anything because I have no pictures. And I'm like, I wish I had had pictures because it's like, oh, I'm so, there's such good memories and things. Anyway, I don't drive now. Um, sometimes people say, oh, you should drive. Even I think I should drive. But then it's like, oh, I'm scared of driving. So I don't. I've probably had, yeah, the, just like the two, maybe three, two, two remembered, maybe three highway chases. I've had like cars blow up like four or five times. Um, most, most of the time I haven't been in them, but one time I was. Um, and stuff like that, and I was like, after you sort of experience all this, you think you'd be tra traumatized, but usually I just go, oh, what the hell, let's just do it again. <laughs> but to this day, I haven't bothered to drive, and I don't drive now. I'm sure police would be nervous for me if they knew that I, I was stepping behind a wheel, because, you know, they're sort of nervous when someone cannot break their car. They'll probably just chuck me out and say, hey, you're definitely banned, you know. They have, they have to just say the word and then you'll be banned forever for not driving because you're just, the car's not just working for you. And then I'll be back to walking. I don't even ride bikes because of, you know, I have health problems and stuff. So, But sometimes I do. Sometimes I do ride a bike, but most of the time I don't. Lo and behold, I'm pretty unfit right now.